there can be things in our generational line that have an effect um, as a legal right to the enemy to block or hinder in in family lines. Um, the the again the, the the issue is going to the father and asking the father or going to Jesus and asking Jesus to reveal what are those blockages and where did they come from um, rather than digging to see if there's anything go and ask and does he want you to deal with it and only do what you see the father doing so from a perspective if there is an issue there are various things you can obviously do about it as directed by the father one of them is to do a court case a heavenly court case where you go to the court can, the court is convened the father is the judge you call the accusers are there any accusers that are accusing me or my family line in this issue then you basically hear what the accusations are and if it's a generational thing it's like the the legal right that the enemy has the accuser in that situation would say you we we have this right because this happened or because your generations did this or opened the door for the, this or whatever it might be and it could be something if you're talking about financial blockage it could be that there was dealings which were unrighteous in the past that opened the family they may have stolen or they may have defrauded something might have happened then what you do is you forgive and release those people who were responsible in the flat generational line um, get the verdict from the father which is not guilty remember the judge is going to find in your favor and that verdict is passed so that then you can stand uh, in with the verdict in opposition to anything that's coming against that verdict so then the, they have no legal right the legal rights removed but you have to stand and that legal right has to be removed from the thinking uh, in your life now will it affect every other person in that generation it depends really on whether they have agreed with or engaged with that blockage or that mindset or that lie or particularly it may even be in a financial situation some financial uh, wrongdoing in their own right well then they have to deal with that and they have to acknowledge because they, they can't be in agreement with what was in the past if it's a mindset of poverty then that mindset needs to be um, replaced with a mindset of blessing um, and the, the key is not to try and get rid of the old mindset, but to replace it with the new. What is what is the truth? The truth is God wants you to be blessed. The truth is that God blessed Adam and Eve and said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue and rule. So the blessing of Abraham has been released. So from that perspective, you can um, definitely deal with some of those issues as the father gives you the direction and when you get it when you get the verdict live on the verdict use the verdict as the foundation of the truth that you live from not the lies that you may have been living on before so there can be things in the past in many of people's lives that do have an effect in today um, the keys are always forgiving those in the past making sure you're not in agreement and alignment with anything that was done in the past receive a verdict that frees you from any legal right the enemy has to block you and then stand on that truth and resist anything that the enemy tries to do if the enemy keeps trying to do it then you can go back to court with a contempt of court because they're trying to go against the verdict of the judge now they often when you threaten accus accusers with that they won't want to go before the judge because the judge can in a natural case can do a contempt of court and they can be locked up you know indefinitely and so there's a thing there for a process I, I do all this teaching in the engaging god program i think it's in module four um where it talks about the courts of heaven and various things but definitely you can do something um but don't get caught up on focusing on the negative always go to the father and say father is there anything blocking me or jesus is there anything blocking me is there anything i'm believing or my family are believing which isn't the truth then that truth can be uh, brought into play and then you stand and live from the truth which is the blessing of god and the favor of god and god wants you to live with everything you need to fulfill all that you're called to do if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much